bag. No way, Jose. Cheddar. Hey. Grind hard for the culture. They placed us behind, so you know we gotta get back. It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world when your skin color is black. Grind hard for the culture. They placed us behind, so you know we tryna get back. It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world when your skin color is black. And hating got pussy all that. Yeah. Big dog, CEO, I wear all hats. What? Never lied to you once, I spit all facts. Uh -huh. That was our people spray with the water hose. That was our women raped and then call hoes. Yeah. How I'm done, my ancestor taught to try to read. Mm. Not to mention all the resources we created. Yeah. Why they didn't want to yeah. see black families together? Uh -huh. Would it be too strong with two parents at home? What? Young nigga, better listen to this pimping. Don't you ever let the police get you slipping. Uh -huh. Fuck playing with guns, educate yourself. Yeah. Now lead your son. You gonna Treat your lady right if you respect your mom Otherwise treat yeah. the opposition how it comes You're only a slave if you think you want, nigga Yeah Grind hard for the culture They placed us behind so you know we gotta get back It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world When your skin color is black Grind hard for the culture They placed us behind so you know we tryna get back It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world When your skin color is black 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 a king from the south i had a dream like martin i hope i live it out black on black crime it's a new time it ain't just the opposite i gotta watch mine they smile in your face hey bro be podcast what it do man it's your girl little chad yay hey man say man it's friday you already know what it is hey what it do what's up April 19th, man, Friday. You know what we're doing it. HLG Podcast, welcome, welcome to another one. This topic tonight we're talking about is kill music from hip hop to the graveyard, man. I'm your host, Chad. Uh, hey, if it ain't snowing, it ain't getting snowing. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all already know, man. Classic man, business man, barbecue man, financial lead man. What's happening? <laughs> Hey, I'm a man. Let's get you left out. Y'all know what it is, man. Friday night. Hey, before we get into the content, y'all know it's three things you gotta do, man. First thing is pray me. Pay for me, please. <laughs> and pour me, please. <laughs> hey, man. I like that. Please, I'll add it on the end of that. And I forget, man. <laughs> you know what it is, though, man. That's how we do this shit. Friday night, man. You with your favorite people, man, of all time. The hardest yeah, podcast. Run it back, man. Run it back. Run it back. HLG Podcast Show, man. Tonight, we talking kill music from hip hop to the graveyard. Uh, Y'all tell a friend, you know what I'm saying? Share this junk. Like this junk. Comment. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't subscribed, do that as well. Yeah, man. We kicking it in the right way. It's Friday. Man, just get up, man. man. Hey, please, please, comments, man. Keep this, keep this shit light, cause y'all already know, man. This Thank topic you, is brother. crazy, man. Pray me, please, please. You hey, 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 please. Paper me, please. <laughs> For me, please. Appreciate it, man. Uh, but yeah, you know, bitch, go, go tell a friend, man. Go share this joint tonight. It's a great conversation. We talking about. Some stuff yeah. that's informative to the youth tonight, man. You know, I feel like tell this a uh, to tell a friend to tell a young man. Straight up, hey, single mama, single fathers, uh, people that ain't got people there for them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Holla, 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 holla. Yeah, damn, we got twelve comments that quick. How the fuck they? That's us. That's us. That's <laughs> <good>. <laughs> already. Hey, hey, is we live on the Instagram? Let me check that out real quick. I'm I don't think so. Now. Okay, uh, uh, I'm thinking you oh, hit the live button. You gotta hit the live oh, button. Trey, Trey Ryan will post. I'm trying to do it right now, but it ain't doing it. Podcast and I ain't got him. It's, it's cool if we don't. What'd you say, bro? 
Mm-hmm. I said, oh, Trey Ryan would pull to have me some wings ready for mm. the podcast. Mm. She ain't, ain't even got home yet. Uh, mm. And we on her ass when she get home. Mm. You know? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the gram, I don't know, it's showing that it's it's lit up, but it ain't it ain't live on that junk, though. So it say you are live, but I don't see that junk. That's Check great. it out. Let me know, HLG, some hogs and hogs, man. Let us know if we live on the HLG podcast. Yeah. Instagram. Bro, you hey, ain't on your way. You still commenting on this dog on podcast. No way. <laughs> hey, hey, my, at, at, my yeah. church, they say, at my church, when they taking communion, they said, Jesus say this is my body if we eating chicken wing. Man, get the Keep it going. I'm finna try to I'm finna try to get us live on the ground too. And then we'll dive into the, you know what I'm saying, situation at hand tonight. You know what I mean? See if I can do it while we live. Yeah, I see these jerseys, man. Come on, get on the team, man. Come on, get on the on the on the winning team, huh? We out here looking like an all-star game right now. <laughs> <laughs> no practice jersey, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, why that's your name? Yeah, boy said West West Memphis, North Memphis, All Stars. Everybody what's came. Practice? What's what's prank? We're gonna leave it at that. Practice? Y'all talking about practice? <laughs> Not the game. Practice. <laughs> yeah, fuck the we ain't gonna be on there tonight because that John Ekin. Messed up, and I ain't got time for it. We got too much serious stuff we need to talk about tonight. Y'all need to, need to y'all ain't been really tapping in, really, how y'all supposed to be on that journey anyway. We got a, a, a thousand, a, a hundred, or however many people, and we need people to tap in on that Instagram, John, too, because it's the yeah. HOG podcast show page. So we need y'all tapping in on that joint. Need y'all sharing all it. Mm-hmm. Share to, to your friend, your cousin, all them that that, that real shit. Every now and then they need to have that real that real ism in their ear. Yeah. That's all real ism. They definitely need y'all, y'all over y'all yeah. over indulging in the fake shit all day. You, you got to wake Amen. up and listen to all the fake shit all day. Let's all do something day different. Day different all day let's do something different then. Fake mm-hmm. shit after fake shit after fake yeah. shit all day long. <laughs> They've been standing there stand at BBLs all day. Like, you ain't did nothing real today yet. And you turn it to the HOG podcast. Say, ha- hasn't inspired itself at all. No, ain't no inspiration out there. <laughs> and I heard somebody in perspiration was all. <laughs> what do you say? Stop this. Stop this. Stop hey, this. That was confident. Stop this. That was confident. <laughs> That was that man. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I get. I'm glad I missed it. That was that man. Because uh, I'm in my bag, huh? And I show my ass, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's your heart. Yeah, man. Well, but man, yeah. To the subject at hand, man. Kill music, hip hop. Uh, from the, yeah. from hip hop to the graveyard. Hey, you want you want you want to give the objective of that, got it? The objective? Yeah, just right, a brief gonna, objective of what it is. So, uh, well, uh, what it is, or how we gonna break it down? Or how we gonna break it down? However you want to do it, bro. Right. So, or you can, can you can do one just, and then Lee do the other one. Okay, so one of the aspects that's driving the kill music is the overconsumption of pharmaceuticals. So we're gonna dive into that part. As an influence to the kid, and then we got the influence of the gangs and social media. Say that shit. Say that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm my my mood. My mood changed because I know we finna talk about a whole lot of tragedy bro like i just yeah. yeah and it ain't no way to be happy about it but it ain't to be informed what these kids need to be like you know they need to know the king vines before the king Von that they knew on the on the on the uh 
television screen and the crazy story videos. You know what I'm saying? They need to know that King Von that uh, was prior to that. And I won't even say King Von. That'll be whatever his government name is at that point. But um, Dave Von. Bust a nigga head. Smack a hole. Shoot the club up. <laughs> Bitch. Use a... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. But he, but he was one of them. He was one of he was one of them folks, bro. Triple that, bitch uh, mafia, mafia. I mean, ah, yeah, it's the same. Know, you're right, you're right. It's the same, yeah. And I was just thinking about that earlier today when I was thinking about like what we were finna talk about tonight. I'm like, damn, like we had the same type of music. It just wasn't like, I mean. You had to guess if they was doing what they were saying back in the day. There wasn't a bunch of pistols behind it. It was a bunch of hands behind it. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait. So it was, was, fun, it ever, was it was it ever was it ever in the streets or was it just in the streets in the music? Because I remember it being in the streets in the music. I don't remember it being in the streets. Like right. when 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 your guy did triple bitch my everybody was rocking with that shit. Three yeah. six ain't try to do nothing to that man. Right. They didn't try to do nothing to that man. You talking about play or fly? The triple bitch mafia, right? Oh yeah, that is. Play that is. Fly, they yeah. didn't try to do nothing to that man. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 but he was from South Memphis too, and look how they were coming in the in the South. Bro, we, it was always it was always that with the South. You talking to a North Memphis veteran? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was always yeah. dead with the show. Ain't you coming to build it, man? It wasn't, it wasn't never no coming up. Was, it was no deadly. <laughs> hey, thumbs up. We gotta get them thumbs up. Auntie Mama coming to be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thumbs up. No. <laughs> nah, hit the like, share, and comment button, man. You know what I'm saying? When y'all see Auntie Mama coming to build it, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, no, you you got, hey, got it. We gotta hit one of them for the merch slogans. Mm-hmm. See mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm. continue, though, Lee. Big fat, you know. So, yeah, so triple bitch mafia. Yeah, <laughs> not she got, hey, she got, 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 <laughs> yeah. Look. So the music, everybody played everything. Cause I'm telling you right now, I rode around North Memphis. I rode around North Memphis with my cousins and my uncle and whoever playing oh, yeah. play or fly against the black. And we was in North Memphis. It wasn't no fighting. It wasn't no shooting at a nigga because you playing that shit. Right. That's what it is now. Yeah. yeah, it's like it ain't even it can't be it ain't the sport part of it or the respect of you just being a lyrical person is gone. Yeah. That shit ain't no more, and it's because of one dumbass trend that was said. It I mean that was said, and it went out. It's like it spread it like a wildfire, bro. You seen people? They want to talk about no drill rapping no damn Toronto twenty years ago, bro. No, you see what I'm saying? So now you know it didn't cut on like a, it didn't cut on like a wildfire, bro. Hey man, hey man. I be forgetting one thing about this show. What's that? The people everybody don't see how hard the back of these jerseys is, man. <laughs> <laughs> the back of these jerseys harder than a motherfucker, man. Y'all ain't have no clue. Hey, we got, come on, we don't. We got to show them. They don't think we're in unison. Right, get, get, get your merch right, man. Let me see. Get your merch right. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Hey, hey, cut them out. Cut it out. Now you're doing too much. We're doing too much. We're doing too much. Sit back down, man. <laughs> to get a sermon. <laughs> Straight up. Anyway, but yeah, bro, I, rem- I remember you know, like it not being like about the homie that got killed in the hood yeah. a few weeks ago. Because you know, niggas was always dying. Like that's what people don't realize about us, about our generation versus J generation. Bro, this dying shit ain't ain't new. Nah, 
how y'all how, how y'all living it is what's new yeah Fact. that's what's yeah. new yeah, yeah, and, and the, the difference between our generation and y'all generation, y'all doing it the dumb way. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker can rewind the tape, go back and download a video from what you saying and doing. Y'all doing it the, the, the dumb way. <laughs> Ain't no right way. Ain't no right way. Ain't y'all no right way. Really doing it the dumb way. That, that, that's why I said we lived it how we did, and y'all living it y'all way. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, please. Memphis, please, please. Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee. The murder rate been high since I've been alive. Yeah. So another, another segment we're gonna throw in there for social media. Yeah, you're right about that. But you know what though, they um, you know, like you said, like living it to the level that they living it at is just what's disappointing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like back in the day, like you said, the most that happened, like nigga might get to fight. Uh, worst come to worst, nigga might get poked up or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. the, the young mm-hmm. buck and the uh black child situations, that type of shit. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. or you know, but it wouldn't go as far as that. You know, for us in our generation, but you know, this shit been happening all the way back to the the the, the, the uh the forefathers of the hip hop, like the you know what I mean, two pots and biggies and shit like that. Like that shit happened. That shit was messed up. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, bro? I, I think that that situation was a little different than this. It was, but it still contains the same violence. Rappers that was yeah. talking about each other, and, and 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 it went to another level, whether they created them actions or not. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit now. These niggas can't take. If you can't take a person talking about your mama, your girl, the people you love, and stuff like that, then hip hip hop ain't the game for you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the game for you. But at the same time, at, 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 at the same time with this with this music, man. Excuse me, J. Scott, what it do? Oh, that, 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 I ain't even got the jump loaded up. With this, with this music, bro, oh, like it's, it's, I feel like you gotta look at it from a different perspective, though. You gotta get us together, Chum. You no, know, because, okay. because when you can when you can listen to a song. And you can find a YouTube video. Oh, get us together. Hey, Scott, yeah. Scott, what's good? You want the link? I send it to you. If it did go to the level, no one advised their felonies. Advertise their felonies. I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, you're right. But, but okay. Oh my bad. So you saying mm-hmm. with Look the pocket? Like, that, was, that was the same type of violence. I, I I understand that, but but check this point out though, right? Go ahead. With this music that we talking about, the kill music, we not even gonna we not even gonna call it what the what the industry done watered down to call correct, it. Correct, we, correct, correct. We, we gonna call it kill music, right? Yeah. It's literally, bro. You you can literally go. And that little nigga right there in the uh in the left hand corner of the screen or right hand corner of the screen. Yeah. Uh best videos out there of him doing shit that he rapped about. Oh, look at them graphics on the damn y'all yeah. playing with the HMG podcast show. <laughs> Real, man. Talk about when you talk about pocket big, pocket big, yeah, same type of violence, yeah, same type of violence, not same type of music, not same type of effect from the music, right? Hey. Yep. A lot of this, a lot of this shit, the the effect that comes from this music is because, bro, he talking about the dude that just got killed, my homie that just got killed around the corner the other day. Facts. Oh, he talking about our dead homies that 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 that's been killed over the years. Yeah, y'all living on the same blocks. Y'all doing the same shit. Y'all been in this shit for a decade at this point. Y'all been in this shit for over a decade at this point. Drill drill rap came on the scene in what two thousand nine. That was when that was when Chief Key blew up. Yeah, let me go into the second. Don't take it. Don't take it, uh, you know, like I mean, they like for sure, like what you're saying, they make a lot of sense for sure. Like it is the same type of violence, I'm saying, but 
like you saying, you put it in the perspective of like they actually make kill music, like they make mu- music to go out and handle and this type it. of yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah it is a difference. You're right about what, that. What, what, what the, yeah. di- the difference is these dumb motherfuckers making shit after <laughs> after they do it, and it and like we said, this ain't a this we ain't trying to offend nobody or nothing like that, but we're gonna talk how we need to speak about this shit because yeah, this is what's taking pretty. our young people from us, you know what I'm saying? Our young right. people this could be thriving, you know, and, and talented at that at but a we, rapid rate. Grab so, grab your it, grab it, your at a rapid rate. We are grab your kids, man. Right? Grab we, your we, kids we, that we, that we that losing ain't sheltered and can't bad hear bad nobody cuss. We lose mass artists, athletes. You said what? Let me say this. Hey, grab your kids that 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 can hear somebody cussing, so they can get this game. And we ain't we ain't we ain't PG. What do you call it? PG thirteen? None of that shit. We 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 PG. uh, People people that's that care the most about y'all ass gonna get to you raw. Y'all y'all can't keep putting on the. Putting on the motherfucking uh, what's that shit? The Hello Kitty ain't no Hello Kitty menswear. Y'all wearing that shit and trying to watch the HOG podcast. You already fucking up. Hey man, listen, young men tap in, game bangers tap in, uh, <laughs> fake street niggas tap in. Like confused for real though. Like this is the conversation. Confused niggas, yeah, say it. Confused, yeah, niggas, confused niggas, niggas and shit for real though, because that's how it is, bro. You confused old niggas tap in, man. Please, especially man. I'm the first. That's the that's the core of it because right now that's why a lot of this shit like going the way that it's going because you get OGs they call themselves OGs but they're not doing nothing to make the young person not do what they out here doing it. Uh, you know they they edging it on like yeah man you the hardest and this and that they not giving you a different direction, bro. Go to the OG aspect. Go go ahead, then OG aspect. You know what though, bro? Like them niggas can't even. You, you. I'm gonna tell you something. What I know. What I feel like. I ain't gonna say what I know. What I feel like. This is what I feel like. I feel like if you've been in them same streets that them niggas been in, and you've been doing that same shit that them niggas been doing, and you trying to show them a different way, you can't show them shit. Why the fuck would they listen to you? Why would they respect you? Why would they? Well, this is why they would respect you. If you didn't took that and change it like a dude like Nipsey was doing in his no, 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 no. We're not talking about those type of guys. We're not talking about those type of guys. Because those guys are the exception to the rule. No, we talking, we talking about the niggas that should be out there stopping this shit from the levels it's getting to because they still out there by the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. But instead of that, but instead of that, they capitalizing on it. You know why? Because they they taste they tasting dirty money that's behind the kill music. They taste too much dirty money. They don't know what clean money feels like. And it's fast so as hell. Why they tasting that dirty money? They grow they grooming other niggas that's well, now you, tasting now you that dirty what I'm money. I'm, I'm not yeah. I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the Snoop Dogs and the Nipsey's and and the Dr. Dre's and those guys of the game. The guys that was out there in the streets and then came out that shit. And now they doing. The positive things in the community that the community need. No, I'm talking about the niggas that's still on the ground, that's wiping their nose and their ass with the blood money that these little niggas yeah. is stealing in the streets day in and day out because they won't they won't put themselves in the right position to intervene the right way and stop this shit, bro. Yeah. We are not the ones. We are not the ones winning. Yeah. Man, so, they catching they catching the Ricos and pulling everybody in with them. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna tell y'all this though. I'm gonna tell you one thing I do know, and I watch the scene of the cities like Chicago and things like that. So it's a guy by the name of Bo Deal that was deep into that gang shit and shit like that. And speaking of this, the reason why I say this is different than the Nipsey and the the, the Snoop thing is because on 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 the level that they on for is like in the public eye. He's not, but he's what they are to their cities in Chicago. And yeah, he's, I know about Bodil. Yeah, I know and about Bodil, Bodil and Bodil done made a big turn right now, bro. He didn't get into clean eating. I, I would say into, Bodil, is, Bodil is an exception to the rule. That's, that's what I'm saying. So we get we we get them people in the neighborhoods, 
it ain't that we don't have them. It's just they outnumbered by the stupid yeah, ass. It ain't, it ain't enough. Not. That's the problem. It ain't enough. Yeah. It ain't enough. It's 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 one boat deal and it's one million motherfuckers that's that ain't what ain't standing for what boat deal standing for. That's a problem. Yeah. Either 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 you a coward, you won't speak up. You 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 know how to you know how to get to the source and you won't get to the source. Why? If I if I knew if I knew how to get to the motherfucking source, I'd go to the source. That's the main right there. That's the main. Bodil, yeah. 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 Yeah, Bodil doing this thing. Mm-hmm. He doing, he doing, he he do, he he done turned this stuff around in a very positive way. That's why I say, like, you know, it's people out here that have merely been into it and know how it look and know uh what it take you through and all that that's willing to get out here and kind of like redirect these young men. But like as we said, it's outweighed. Shout out to uh What's that, Taja McKay? She said, uh, Yo, Taja, King. Super Stat Man. Super Stat Man that was on the show that one time. That's super What's stat. up with it, Wody? What do, man? Yeah, hit the, hit the, yeah. let me hit the horn for the, yeah. the people yeah, that's coming the here. Shout out to the yeah. hogs and the hogs, man. As Flint if, in the building, man. Yeah, if you don't know, we talking about kill music right now. We talking about hip hop to the graveyard. We talking about using uh, losing great young talented men. You know what I mean? That have been here on earth with us already, but you know, this shit deep, you know what I'm saying? Uh and you know, it, it bro, it it you know, it's 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 crazy because it's not just the artists that die. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like these, like these kids, these kids really wage wars off these songs. Yeah, there, there, there are in, there are instances where this this songs have been dropped and days later the the artist is dead yeah you know i'm to me it's just like okay i you know i i, I dove into this shit listening to king von because you know for the longest time bro i was not i was like man hell no fuck fuck a little dirt fuck a king von fuck all that if it's drill fuck all that for the longest time right one day smoking in the, in the smoking in the whip with little homie he like oh gee, you gotta listen to this man and i and, and i got hooked because the shit is actually good fucking music but it's just like at the same time it's good music then you learn about who the fuck king von really was right and it's like, oh my God, how could I have ever? So, bro, let's talk about let's talk about one of the bulletins that we like dropped down from this whole title, the kill music, you know, from hip hop to the graveyard. So, being a man that knows about guns, I'm gonna go to Lee on this. Being yeah. a man that knows about guns. And once you get to start collecting them, if you have this different type of feel for guns, can you kind of explain like how these young men might feel when they have access, can get a hold to, they know what the gun can do for them. It can bring fear from other people. They can get things in seconds from people, you know, like kind of like touch on it. Leave leave a big big 40 perspective. (laughs) You know, the game, you know man. The game, man. you shoot that first guy, you gotta. It's either something that's gonna make you know there's something you don't need to ever fucking do again, or it might be something that enhanced that demon, like they call so, it. Yeah, and so and talk see, about that, it. That's that's the thing, right? Because having a gun in your hand is a thing. How you feel about having a gun in your hand is a thing. What you gonna do with the gun in your hand is a thing, yeah. right? All of these are things, right? You know, and then you talk about the heart of the man with the gun in his hand, right? You know, what is his heart? You know, is it is it the heart of a demon? Is it the heart of a man trying to defend himself that would not be in that position if it wasn't for being faced with that adversity? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. For me. For me, if I got a gun, 
I got a gun because everybody else got a gun. And I don't want to react one way that make a motherfucker pull out that gun and I ain't got my gun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm who I am. You feel me? Like my 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 persona is what it is. I might walk in the room and scare certain motherfuckers, and I don't know why, but it's just it's just a thing. Yeah. So if I do if I do the wrong thing, motherfucker might pull a gun on me. I want to have my gun. Right. But when you in the streets, when you in the streets, you know what I've learned, what I researched, and what I've lived. You know. Having a gun in your hand and walking around with it and being willing to do something with it, that's all malicious. That's all malicious, misguided. It's all malicious and misguided. It's all a part of a design and a construct that 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 is older than all of us because some smart white man figured out a long time ago that we have to control something more than what's physical and that's the mind. music music inspires anybody i don't care who you are it inspires anybody that listens in one way or the other so if you listening to good music it it, it, it can't do nothing but inspire you in a good way right thanks but if you listening to kill music Eventually, it's going to start making you kill, right? Especially when they talk about your friends. It's going to make you react to a certain situation instead of walking away. Uh, right. Like they say, up in the stick. Up in the stick. It ain't even a matter of walking away. It ain't even a matter of walking away. It's a matter of I'm going to go to it. Check, See, check. The, based off that's the music. What, that's, what, that's what the music do. The play that's by play. Is is listen the, listen the play what by plays in the music yeah what we was talking what we were talking about why is the money why is the money like this why is the money like this for these kids with this music and this music is not even good music oh jesus you finna touch them you finna test some bones now bro you finna test some bones. most of it is not i would say 80 percent of it is shit yeah literally 80 percent of it is shit 80% of you niggas can't ride the beat, can't rhyme. No fuck a double entendre and all that other complicated shit. You can't even get the basic shit right. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, like, we, and, 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 and you talking about two minutes or less. Yeah. That's and crazy. Whole, and you talking about a whole bunch of niggas in the video with, with, with baggies of weed and, 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 and fucking half drank bottles of fucking Remy VSOP. And, and fucking guns. Don't give a fuck, bro. What the fuck is that showing me? Hey, it ain't good, man. So y'all gotta, y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta understand. With 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 me telling y'all it ain't good. Like I love music. I love all types of music. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yeah. gave all motherfuckers a shot in all genres. Hey, Lee. When I'm telling you, kill music is garbage. Is shit. Is 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 a motherfucker talking on the goddamn beat just a little bit slower than what I'm talking right now? And y'all loving this shit because he, y'all love y'all loving this shit because what he show you on social media when he ain't rapping. Y'all ain't loving the fuck of music. Y'all loving the bullshit. Uh oh, the Wayne's on the way. He's paying y'all. <laughs> hey, look, the ain't Lee. He's so getting the paid on way, y'all. Man. They getting paid off y'all, and they because they paying these little niggas to keep killing each other. And the wings hey, on thaw, hey, look, the wings on They already cooked. How they? How they? How they arrive? The wings on the way, brother. I'm waiting for you to get through with your wing. I'm waiting for you to get through with your addressing this shit, and then I was gonna tell you the wings on the way. So wings on the way, right? My no nigga, ain't, my nigga ain't hungry though. He good. Wings on the way. No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Hold on. We got some. We got some comments. Jay Scott said music influence everyone. But it doesn't make a person forget what's right and wrong, correct? Yeah. Well, right. well, for right. some, for some well, people, I, I, I ain't no, it ain't no situation where it's a walk away from. This music makes you go to it. That's the then, point. Then your boy said he said 
the kill music is all political. All political. Hey, just yeah. like Lee just said and broke down, like street when politics, it though. This shit ain't political, political. It's street yeah. politics. It's political. politics, yeah. But hey, y'all hit the like button, y'all share this jump, man. Sure tell a young man, a game yeah, banger, is, a confused nigga, a nigga that's not going down the wrong right road. Share this jump, man, for a real. Soft, a soft shoe wearing that. Right. Yeah. Hey, listen. Let, let me tell you why it's political. Let me, let me tell you why it's political. Okay. So right now, the money, right now, the money, you already said it. The right, money right, is right the main now, reason. That ain't, but that ain't, but that, but, but you, but I can explain something. Break it that, down. That will just make people understand, like because everybody <laughs> seems to think that that these boys is out here getting all of these intricate little pieces and 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 parts to guns and shit. By miracle, okay. No, no. Let me, let me explain something to you. No, the no. switch. And now you go now. Now we hit the political right? Break it down. I'll be right back. Break it down. Switch. After this, we're gonna take a quick break. Make sure you wipe your hands. Just a, little, just a little device. Just a little device. There we go. That you that you put on the slide, and all it do is keep the shit from locking. Yeah. So that ding, ding, when ding, it come ding. back, it go back forward. Ding, ding, and, when, ding, and you ding. know what happened when it go forward, right? Ding, ding, ding. Brown come out of the chamber. They get all the, the Sonic the Hedgehog coins. Right? So, how do you... How, Glock, Glock, Glock says they... What I know is that most of the ones that are getting confiscated are manufactured by them folks ain't finna come looking for me aftermarket or of course it's aftermarket okay of course okay. everything like that's gonna be aftermarket everything yeah. like that is gonna be aftermarket mm -hmm. but you know it's 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 more than just it's more than just the the music industry in on this. That's why it's political. Fact. Because see, you got you got people you got people that lobby for guns every day. You got people that lobby against suppressing anything that got anything to do with suppressing anything that got anything to do with the Second Amendment. My guy, every day. You see you know what, what I'm saying? That's a, that's, that's a billion dollar industry, bro. The motherfuckers is not gonna stop. You know, you know what I don't like about a certain thing that has something to do with that? What's and that? everything in life so you don't get fucked over is when you have to submit your shit as a patent. As soon as you submit your shit as a patent, you actually give it away to the government to see how it works. Yeah, you get your paperwork back, but please believe you just gave your shit away. Go ahead. That boy put the. <laughs> hey, what made you put the shades on? Let me let me venture off to that. What I mean, <laughs> you get the your eyes hurting or something? You got pink eyes on there. You get the super cool on the because he's of the gold and the gold and the gold. You said, you nah, said it to, hey. to, to the ism. I thought yeah. you was an Ismaelite. Ismaelite. <laughs> hey, Ismaelite. Look, Ismaelite. We on the right path, bro. We on the right path. We talking about uh, the gun like part that. of it. We're going <laughs> to take a quick break. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to come right back and resurface. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple other bulletins we need to hit tonight. But you are tuned into the HLG Podcast Show. We talking kill music, man. Uh, from hip hop to the graveyard. Y'all keep this shit yeah, up. From the right and like, share, and comment, goddammit.
What's up, what's up, it's CEO Gotti. Just talking to the club owners out there, over here, Germany, United States, no matter what country you are in, I am working a deal for bulk designs. So bulk designs, you'll get your design for the entire month. If you're really active on the club scene, your entire designs for the entire month in two to three days. You know what I mean? Real quick, like really don't waste time. You get your details together. Shoot me what you need, and I'll get you together real quick. But that's only at Bugatti Visions. It's the only place where you're going to get this type of service, that type of speed, that type of quality. You heard me? All right. podcast show y'all know what it is man your favorite people man hardest podcast on the planet man listen we talking kill music in the solar system hey you know how we do after break we go right into the birthday shots out i want to shout out amber gates angel gates ashley gates and Kevin also gates. and also <laughs> and also uh <laughs> ebony Sten. Drink class of five, of 2001 <laughs> they had birthdays this week so shout out to my classmates Man, I'm so proud of everybody that a part of where I come from, you know what I'm saying? The class of 01, they doing big, great things out here all over the world, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to West Memphis. Uh, anybody got birthday shots out, you know you can put them in the comments. We'll be sure to shout them out, hit some horns, talk some shit, take some shots. You know how we do it. Uh, town business spotlight. Hit the uh, air horns. Hit the, if you must, we're going to hit the air horns. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, but town being the spotlight, bro, it's gonna go to uh the play that I'm gonna be involved in, you know what I'm saying? What Called, you get? Uh, you get? I'm a dead beat who and basically that play um is gonna be held out the first the first show gonna be held out in Oakland, California, this May the 31st, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a good play. I don't really want to elaborate too much on what it's about, you know what I'm saying. Until it's closer to the time, we'll give a little couple pointers on what it is to get people to and do Kick it. it yeah. Uh, also, it's 420 weekend, so shout out to the smokers, the stoners, and all the dope heads out here. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be very big carnivals, y'all. Make y'all be make sure y'all be safe this weekend as y'all out doing y'all activities and you know yeah. what I'm saying, getting around and stuff like that. Keep hey. it safe. Keep hey, it smart. Do, hey, do your trusted source shit. That fence still out here. Hey, man. <laughs> Real yeah, talk though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, starry, starry CST. We're gonna get right into you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just... Who is that? That is the that is the Hawa. 
Okay. Shout out to Hawaii in the building, man. Hey, listen, we're going to get right into that in just a minute. We're going to get into them comments. Also, um, since we're doing announcements, because I want to get into this, because, bro, I want to punch on some shit that I know that's going to ignite my nigga to go off on this motherfucker. So I got <laughs> to do, <it. laughs> do it. Hey, uh, also, Rural Music Fest, this is happening in less than two months. We're going out to Germany, Germany June the 15th. Gotti, you want to talk to him about that, Gotti? Right. The, the deadline for sign up is the middle of May. Matter of fact, I think it's the first weekend in May. Don't quote me on it because we on the oil. You hear me? It's in the soil. But yeah, the <laughs> deadline is soon. We about to start putting out individual flyers with all the artists that's going to be a part of it that, it, that, that put their stuff together and register. Like I said, you are not an artist on this show if you have not registered to be an artist on this show on the Chubb Show app. You see it right there at the bottom right. You can scan the QR code. It's going to take you there. And you'll see that sign right there, the Chubb Show. It's on, it's on wherever you, whatever phone you got. If you got an old Nokia, it's going to pull up. Why are you playing Snake? You hear me? <laughs> but go to the event, World Music Fest Germany. You have to go to this event. As soon as you click on that event, in under, under the events tab, you will see a sign-up form for this event. As soon as you sign up, go through the process of that form, all that information automatically comes to us. That lets me know you are now a registered artist for this event. There is no other way. There's no, bro, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to say this shit one more time, and I got to make sure this shit clear, clear. There is no, bro, I'm going to pull up. It ain't, we ain't doing no, bro, I'm going to pull up. All right? <laughs> Fuck that. Do your shit the right way. I've been promoting this shit for six months. There is no bro. I'm going to pull up. Bro, you're going to pull up and be a spectator. That's what this you're is gonna business, do. man. You're going to be a spectator like a motherfucker watching other people perform. So right. please do yourself the, the, the service of the justice of, of respecting your craft <laughs> and, you do and actually register as an artist on this event. And get your individual confirmation, your individual flyer that's tied to this flyer, all of that shit. So that, that's what's about to come out in three weeks. We about to put out the specific information and they locked in artists. You know what I mean? I got like three, I got like four, maybe four artists coming from the state, the Carolina area, up, up down the East Coast. So yeah, I'm gonna find out all that. Shit. You're gonna find out who who's on the on the ticket in Germany. You're gonna find out all of that. Hey, uh, also got it. We hey, got I'll... the DJs on there, man. DJ Prom Child, gotta give him give him a shout out. Yeah, you, you... Memphis. We got a lot of whole lot of whole lot of M Town shit. I mean, <laughs> DJ Big Baller, whole lot of St. Louis shit. Yep. And DJ Crush Groove, whole lot of Detroit shit. Got the D. Come on now. Right. We, we are most, we shit, with, all our DJs is from the most thoroughest er, areas. Like, come on. All the spots hit. Man, come on. Also, man. also, we want to keep in mind, too, that it is a world music fest, but we also accept in the, the poets and things like that, that uh, like yeah. that, too, the spoken word people. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever, Models, you, whatever like you, you do, it. pop out. Yeah, yeah. And, and not not and only include uh, different genres. Genres. We ain't talking about just hip hop shit. Right. Different genres of music. If you doing music, you believe in yourself, you want to just get out the country, see something different, and do some and be a part of something different. Right. This we is gonna, this is one of the times. To, we're gonna to catch do. it. We're gonna get into them comments, y'all. We just uh yeah. uh you know getting a flush yeah. uh yeah. promo right these, these events. Yeah, I don't know how the have time is about that business, and we're gonna bounce back to you. Yeah, I, hey, know how that, I can't go. If you've been watching, you know what it is, man. Sit, sit still, you know what I mean? Turn your seat warmers on, and <laughs> you, we're going to get to you. <laughs> also, also to add to that, being that it's a world music fest and it's out the country, uh, don't take this shit light. Don't take this shit for something that's for play. You know what I'm saying? We're really connected with people that's promoting across mm -hmm. the globe, not just in our hometowns. You know, and yeah. that ain't boastful. That's just being real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like going out to Oakland, going to different cities. Going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, we do this shit. So 
Y'all yeah, tap in, you get bitch. your passports. Uh, if you need help uh, or advising, advisement on, on yeah, travel yeah, or anything like that, reach out to us. We got with some whole people to get you in tune with some feasible things to take yourself out the country. But first, you have to have your passport, so start there. You know what I'm saying? Go get your passport. Go expedite it because June is just right around the corner. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You pass gas. It's time to pass port. Right. <laughs> So, hey, I'm going to get into these comments, and then I'm going to get it back into a little pointer on the gun before we move forth on uh, the things that we got to talk about. Oh, so, yeah. Before he dives st- into it, before he dives into it, all year you had time to pass gas. Now it's time to pass port. <laughs> hey, look, uh, she said the uh, – what the – the, the same applies, applies to the adolescent girls, girls in this term of music. In which women behave submissively, show almost everything about their bodies, and treat themselves disrespectfully. Oh, we now she going down something that's the female a female Oh, so, yeah, we did leave out the female dance. Yeah, so that's because that's kill music too. That's kill mm-hmm. music too, and not in the in the, in the same fact as we talking about with them killing each other with guns. That's killing mm-hmm. like personality, character, mm-hmm. uh value, all of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Value. So that's a good point. Man. Valuing the woman. Yeah. Instead of working that's together, cool. glorifying, building, you know what I mean? Shutting yeah. shit down together. It's like, yeah. I need to be making songs on how to wash dishes and and and, yeah. and do shit for household type shit too, man. You know, they got, we forgot. Yeah, they she they talking they they popping. I used to like dick to get that chain. Yeah, you probably did the whole crew. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They own that shit too, man. We forgot so the females she, is really turnt turnt right now. So her really next more than her ever. Next, her next statement was um. Uh, their focus is on material things and men with money and status. That's because the social media has made it that way as well, though, too. Mm-hmm. It's projecting it to these young women like first. Like It's like, uh, you know, if he ain't like this, then you don't need to accept him. The same thing when they go back to the breaking the black home up in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That That's right. what they lead our back to. So that's a good point right there. Uh, yeah. Jay Scott I'm said... Not, uh, yeah, the game, uh, tied to that, the gang shit... And a, a lot of niggas that uh, the females tied to was nigga that was getting money out there doing crazy shit that might get you shot. You the pretty motherfucker. Motherfucker, you I always want the pretty motherfucker. That's a right. status right there. But at the same mm-hmm. time, you can't have a pretty motherfucker. If you constantly get shot at, you got ops here, ops there. You about to get somebody daddy turned the fuck up. They going to lay down your whole crew. Straight Damn, let's keep lay, lay my daughter down. Lay my daughter yeah, down. Yeah. And you feel like you the yeah. hottest nigga in the streets. Um, and my daughter yeah. getting laid down. You might well go and put X's on all um, y'all. Every single you gotta worry day. About, you gotta worry about the next drill, nigga. You gotta in worry the, about a nigga, a state, motherfucking real daddy. The state, out the state, out real the country, daddy. all that shit. Yeah, man. Ain't, ain't hey, no keep in mind, it no is drill for the females too, now. Yeah. Like, like them New York chicks and shit, they rap about that type of shit. Like, that's happening in their environment. That's you know another what I'm episode. That's another episode. Yeah, we so before we go to that, before we go to that, I, I went somewhere. Go ahead, man. Turn, I want to get back. You, 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 it's a you subject. Play, yeah. Yeah. Hit Jay Scott. I want to hit Jay Scott, and then I'm gonna hit a, uh, a what I think about the gun, and we'll move to an environment. Uh, yeah. So uh, talking about them girls, they don't want to uh, put any money into the, the relationship, but won't at least have when they split, when they like divorce or they break up or whatever. I get it. That's too deep. That's yeah. Too, too off, off brand. <laughs> but too off brand on the kids so, get back, so getting back to the gun thing, right? So uh, before break, I was asking Lee about the guns because I know Lee is more into guns and especially like the buying things and stuff like that. Probably yeah. practicing with them, shooting them, knowing which ones are more deadly than the other ones and all that, right? So, uh, well, just talking like- about just talking about how a gun make a person feel that doesn't have confidence. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, most people that misuse guns are people that. They don't they they feel that they have to do a certain thing to get respect. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this like this because I know this is a, a fur tactic for some people. I can pull this motherfucker and it could be fake 
and a motherfucker gonna strip butt naked and give me whatever they want. It's easier for me to do that than go get a job. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that that's what's all coming with the, the, the shit we talking about tonight, but it's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Having that, that feeling and that, that lack of confidence to make you go out and yeah, nigga, fuck that. Niggas ain't respecting me. This gonna make them respect me type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if I bet if I clutch this urn, I put this urn in my hand and I go in some rooms and shake some folks up, this shit gonna make a motherfucker do what I want them to do. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about on that gun shit. Like, like, just like the emotions and different things that can make you feel like you have power. Yeah, it feels like a King Kong ain't got shit on you. <laughs> yeah, until you meet another person that don't give a damn like you that has a gun like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Big, big shit, bigger shit. Yeah, but moving into the environment of things, right? So, uh, punch on the environments, man. Got it? Huh? The environment. We talking? I mean, that's directly connected. You from what? From my perspective, my perspective. A lot of young guys that don't have real OGs. That's really touching, you know, weight. That's really touching weight, and really touching these these uh, loud devices, stemming from a situation where the environment is not encouraging intellectual growth. You know what I mean? So we talking about a guy, a, a group of guys that that band together to then take the environment and accept it instead of grow out of it. They accepting the 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 bando, the house with the boys on it. They accepting how to move in that environment in a certain type of way, which some would say is a survival skill. When really, if you took as much time as it, as you stood on that corner to read a book and grab some type of intellect on some on some IT shit on some financial shit, on some communication shit that we already do, then this is some shit that's going to pull you out a little bit faster. But the environment is a, distra- is a uh, distraction. I grew yeah. up in an environment where I was always an out-the-box thinker that I got involved in some bullshit, but still I was an out-the-box thinker. Mm-hmm. So I learned how to survive in my area just from being a, a real we're talking about real thinker everybody ain't real thinker some motherfuckers just, you say something they going with you are we doing this going, well you said that's okay oh you uh, grab that okay i said hey who I, i'm not motherfucking slow shit down who who thinking strategically around this motherfucker he said what that's a, this shit sound dumb as fuck if you got a problem with me come to me now like, if we going to scrap about a disagreement, you about to get your ass whooped, and I'm still right. So, that's me. What we going to do? <laughs> it's a survival <laughs> skill you can't be taught. And you get you lucky if you got a big brother you, you, you got to scrap with that when you felt like you was doing the right thing, a big brother or OG beat your ass. And you still mm-hmm. had to take that correction and had to think in a different type of way. The environment is crazy. It's a, it's a, the environment is OGs, the environment is the females, the environment is the drug game, the environment is the, the, the gang culture, the, the environment is uh, depression, the, the environment is the, the community shit, what we call poverty. I was about to say this that. is all yeah. part of the environment. We do have to put church in there too. I'm going to put church in there because I came from my mama. So religion is in that environment. You got to pick certain elements of this environment to survive hopefully hopefully you grew up where certain things resonated in your head and came to your head a little quicker than the bullshit the good shit came quicker than the bullshit we know bullshit comes too and you just got to do what you got to do but we come from an era where if i put hands on you you probably somebody i went to school with all type of shit I'm going to see you tomorrow, every day tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow mm-hmm. here, tomorrow there, tomorrow at the gym, tomorrow at the park, t- 
tomorrow at the, at, at at whatever the city function. The, like we have strawberry festival. I'm gonna see you everywhere. I'm gonna see you. So let's go ahead and get this shit over with. If you got a problem with me, these hands say it's this the solution. <laughs> that, the new shit is the guns say that's the solution. Ain't no yep. coming back from it. Would you now you from the environment you grew well and this music that's that's clicking, like I said, this music, this music today is a playbook. It's really a playbook. And and, and these niggas don't have no OGs to tell them that this ain't the right playbook. So they go mm-hmm. on off that. It. They it's, it's it's down to the specific type of guns. That I I you ain't got this. You ain't shoot nothing. Like everything will put you to sleep. Everything to the smallest motherfucker will put you to sleep. It will put you to sleep. But you know they walking around like they want to be walking around like this. A twenty two, right? A twenty two. A twenty two yes. will literally kill you. Yes. Faster than. Yes. Yeah, where you go we know where, where you go, we know it, it's a, it's according to where you put it at. Yeah, if you so know y'all, so we 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 come from an era where we're gonna put it in the right place. Yeah. Y'all new motherfuckers come from an era of y'all too doped up and too peeled up. This was the reason why look at the news, man. Hey, three hundred rounds were found on the ground, eight, eight, eight shots and actually landed. Uh, 300 ain't landed. Hey, and don't forget, got it emotional too. They uh-huh. emotional. Uh, that, that, that what you said. You got your panties in a bunch. Yeah, Ooh, we can, yeah you got your plant, your panties emotion, in a bunch. Emotion is the reason a lot of this kills. Let me get on the air. Let me get on the air. Let me get on the air. A lot of y'all don't know how to take an ass whooping and then go home. Y'all don't know how to take no ass whooping and go home. If I got beat square, fair and square. Yeah, it is what it is. You can it's talk better. to me all right. you want to, but if I did not stand my ground, that's the only fu- thing I, I give a fuck about. Oh, I lost one. Niggas lose, niggas lose one every day. Mm-hmm. You win some, you lose some, but you live to what? Fight another, another day. Fight another day, but y'all ain't living to do nothing another day right now. Shout out to Weatherspoon, man. Rest in peace for that, man, for real. Yeah, man. That, that was a much yeah, line for the Hey, the environment. I take with, with me uh, surviving the environment. I took, I took, I took seeing how my mom, her sisters grew up, my grandma grew up. I took that advice. I yeah. took advice from my from my stepdad, uh, correcting me on the spot and shit like that. I took, I took a lot of shit from from my dad not being there. I took, a, I took some shit from. Bullshit ass females that you can read, they only there for a certain type of reason, for a certain type of clout. If you was if you was that nigga, they was there for that. They wasn't really there for you. They was there for that. So a lot of niggas, a lot of things in the game too. We we can't leave this out. A lot of females get niggas fucked off because they ain't shit. You can't believe in an ain't shit ass female and, and, and call yourself a real nigga. And you can't we came, from, we came from the ism. We came from the ism. Like, we, we was popping our shit how we was popping our shit. And that shit attracted a female. But we also, inside of the ism, no. If I ask you one thing, I see one thing about you. You know what I mean? Oh, you, you, if you, if you, if you, if I'm walking with Lee, if I'm walking past my homie Lee, like, I'm, I got my girl in my head, my homie walking up to me, and, and, we dap up and he walk off and she turn her head looking back. Oh, my nigga can fuck her all he want to. Cause she just proved it without talking. Mm. Without talking. A lot of y'all, a lot of these niggas can't handle that shit right there, bro. They mm-hmm. can't handle that shit. They ready to shoot behind that shit. They ready to kill behind that shit. Female ain't shit, man. Female ain't shit. You ready to die behind a bitch and go do what she gonna do behind your back and she just did it in front of your face? That's a lot of these dumb ass niggas rule so- too. Hey, so then hey, we talk about hey, we talk we talk about that too though like what causes that like what what does that stem from how does that look you know what I'm saying when you got females that's like most females that's into that type of shit to where they set niggas up or they doing grimy shit to hey they let a nigga not even pay them but put set them up to take somebody out that they hate that mean more than likely she came from where her father probably wasn't around you know what I'm saying. 
your mother your mother didn't give you the right structure and knowledge to not even be in them situations when it come to dating them type of dudes like ain't no nigga finna date my daughter bro and i gotta worry about bullets coming through the car if you take her yeah. out on a date that shit ain't happening bro no you know no. what i'm saying that shit ain't happening so that that thing right there like that's 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 trauma that's a whole lot of other shit too Jeez. so that's the environment from your perspective lee you want to touch on the environment or y'all want to go to the game let the north talk on it north bro. yeah let, let lee punch on it i know he was on there them wings up for a minute so yeah, yeah. i want to, give him, want to give him a little time before i hit this button right here Highway. i know you're ready to hit that motherfucker. Yeah. go here yeah i know what this jump man I knew you were. Hey, that's why I was trying to. I was trying to wrap this shit up. Myself. Wrap that shit up, my brother. <laughs> you gonna be on that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, you see this guy? Yeah, you see this guy? <laughs> no, I'm I'm on on the, the, the environment. The environment is an is an environment that we have created because when we had advocates for our culture trying to make us understand, we didn't take heed. And I hate to keep I hate to keep going back in time because you know to. I know what we're talking about, but at the same time, it's like you asking, well, where did this come from and where did that come from? Well, this environment was created then. With with war and everything, history has to be learned. You no, know, so I mean, okay, when 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 Section 8 and all of those other programs were created by the government. Hey Shannon, how you doing, man? And they and they took, they, took the, they took the father out of the house. You know, it was an experiment, and it, and it and it was an experiment that they knew was gonna end up the way it ended up. So it's like, okay, well, we need them to destroy themselves. We don't need these people. We don't ever need these people. To be to be, to to become self actualized as a people, because if they do that, then they'll realize that the level of dominance that we could exert in any in any and all industries would be insurmountable. So you had to really you had to really basically put a pandemic out there. And you really had to make sure that shit took because the only way that you survive is if we do what we do to this day. Oh shit, Miss Shannon, we're going home. We're going home. He can see that. Look, he got the glasses on. He can see that though. Can you handle it? You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Let me take that down, man. man. We choose uh, Jason Scott. Scott. Go back out there, man. Jay Scott, Jay Scott said we choose money over morals. Real talk. And what, that's what the, she said. She said, hello, y'all. Yeah. yeah we, cho we choose money over over uh what's the name? Over uh money over morals for facts. And that's what the industry yeah. them basically played out to. Dirty that's money. What, that's Can we say dirty money? From. Can we say dirty money? No, nah, we ain't say dirty money. But Can I we mean, say it? Can yeah, we say it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I get where you're going with it. Dirty <laughs> money. Take but, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, um, you, that's you the missing the like, word. You like missing the go. word. Oh shit! What it is? You missing the word by what? Yeah, you know oil. Go, oh, that dirty money. He said it. He said, "Look, he said it." He said that, it. What is it? Did oh, did it? No diddy. No diddy. My man. Did he no do diddy. it? Diddy. No diddy. Did no he diddy. do it? <laughs> Did he do it? Nah, did he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Hey, did, did, he do, did, did, he, did he do it? <laughs> nah, but for real though, man. You know, uh, the money, That's the money, the money, the money is. Uh, we trying like, to shit live, baby. It's like people getting bought to promote violence, like you said, like eighty percent of the music. We got to keep it that. We got to keep this shit thorough now. Some real shit, like you know. Everybody got a defense, a defense mechanism to where like they push to a certain point to where they react on a on a on a violent level or to defend themselves. But uh, right now with this shit that's going on, bro, 
it's it, it's paid entertainment, bro. Like it's like you can't get in front of the if you a young artist like Young Pappy now and the people that's like under twenty five and shit like that, and you talking sense, you not finna be in front of the screen. Hell no. You gonna have to get your you gonna have to get your followers off of uh word of mouth. You know what I'm saying? People like you know you gonna have to get your shit like that. But you are not getting in front of the screen if you not talking about the pills, the lane, the thirty rounds, the uh the switches and the doing doing uh drills. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, not getting in front of the screen. It's a, it's, it's what they got planned out to do. But we don't have to fall for it, uh, and go down that same road. You know, we done lost too many of these young dudes from King Von to Pop Smoke, man, uh, Young Pappy. It's so many oh, of the, it's so many of the drill people What's that we done uh, lost that I can't even name. I don't even know a lot of these young uh, Little uh, Snoop. Yeah, little Snoop. But his his was more so on a jealous ass grown dude that was doing shit with kids that he's then supposed to been doing. That's just like we see these rappers out here shooting dice. We shoot we shooting right. We see these rappers out here shooting dice with ten year olds and twelve year olds and shit like. Come on, let the J Scott come in. <laughs> you see, unless unless you J Scott or John John R. Lucas, but yeah, that's Jay right. Oh, look at that nigga said J Scott, J Cole, <laughs> J Cole. <laughs> But guess what though, Jay Scott? I was just reading his name, but that's they they in a total different age bracket too, though. Them niggas above 30. I'm talking about like 25 and lower. They're not putting them type of young cats in the game, especially if you're talking. Matter of fact, can you find one? Go and Google and research that. Like what person that's under under 25 that's kicking yeah. it? They talking that street shit, but it's in a different method than what we hearing from the drill. They're talking, they're talking that street shit, but uh, oh, no, 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 no. Like you gotta, you gotta. Little Nas X, Little Nas X. You gotta, you gotta Lil get Nas past. X. You gotta get past. Uh, uh, how long? I gotta, I gotta hurt. I gotta hurt. How long, Leo, how long, Charlie? You gotta get past uh, boiling ramen noodles as your main meal for me to listen to. You. <laughs> What you gonna say, Lee? Lil Nas X, though he 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 related to this this topic. <laughs> Lil Nas X, Uzi Vert, they, they rappers. All Diddy, all Diddy. <laughs> Come on, bro. Them I, niggas can't be rappers, right? They can't be in this conversation, bro. All Diddy, all yeah, Diddy. They can. How? Yeah, they can. It don't because, add up because they are the artists. They are the rappers that are getting paid. The big money and they ain't talking about no drill shit. But what are they talking about? Popping pills, popping pills, depression and shit like that. They got beat it's to the either graveyard. you talking about depression, popping pills, and drugging yourself up, or you talking about killing? That's the only way that you standing in the in the game oh, right so now. Do, do y'all? Let me say this: Do y'all feel like the whole uh, Shawty Lower and Ti is a part of this? What about going back? Going back? Oh, hell no. What the you don't feel like uh, we talking about just beef. We talking about beef. How beef turned into yeah, that shit, listen that to shit, this. Turned into, that. It ain't nowhere that close shit, to this. Shit. Turned into nothing. I'm bro. saying we, we talking about how it came from something. I I would say I would say if if any one of them it elevated to what it is now. Could have led right. to what it is now, the Jeezy Gucci man. Yeah, man. yeah, that's but, probably that's, more. That's, yeah, somebody dying behind it, though. So, so all that got to be connected is somebody dying behind it. That's why it's called kill. What happened to Phil? What happened to Phil? That didn't have a short load had nothing to do with that. I'm just saying. That's more of on the sports side of things. We, like we talking, we about talking about it. how niggas was rapping about how they bought this, how they bought that, how they shoot this, how they shoot that, and they get in that situation, and motherfuckers dying behind that shit, and you still got to stand on that. Yeah, that got a lot to do with our whole era of music, our whole era. Well, in some cases, because you got to think like fifty cents. I'm lost on that one. 50, yeah, me because 50 cent them ain't nobody. Look at, look at three six mafia. We go just back to three six mafia. All the shit talking and, and backing it up. 
Yeah, but we don't know. Backing it up. up. We don't, don't know if nobody for real really died behind what they talked about, though. Yeah, but one of the what we consider is this 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 our history. But do you think a lot of niggas were playing with Country Black? How many niggas you thought were playing? Playing with that money? Yeah, on what street level. Playing with them. But at all. Nigga, all them niggas is some South Memphis veterans. Nigga, wasn't nobody playing with none of them niggas. What is it talking about? That's what I'm saying. That, but this the era of music we come from. This before this before the rap. We, we nobody talk about, playing with none of them niggas anyway. We talk about the birth and how we got elevated. Yeah, you right, Jay. The baby standing on shit for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, the baby yeah, from, but, from the Carolina, she he, ain't fucking around. He, yeah, but he... He rapping about it. Like, I, I would rap about it. You did what you had to do. It was some self-defense shit. But when you rap about it, now you got to deal, in my opinion, you got to deal with that nigga homies, his cousins, and all type of shit. Because now you glorifying it. But nigga, yeah. you did what you did. Shut the fuck up. It is what it is. They tried to play me. Nigga, know not to play with me no more. That's how yeah. we grew up. Nigga yeah, tried to play so, me. Nigga do not to play no more. Now, if I keep so, hearing you make a new song about this shit, it's gonna be a family reunion about how we go about to get rid of your ass. So oh, that's the sport. That's the sport of the present era right now, though. The sport yeah, of they, their era out, is the kill. They outright it's done. It's a, yeah, it's the Instagram post about it, nigga. Well, if they got a problem with your channel right now, it's an Instagram post about it. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's the sport of it, though. That's how it is with them. Mm-hmm. Like they, so so it's a different thing than like back in the day. Like we said, like KRS one type persons that was going. Well, let's say what's that dude that was uh the cannabis and, and LL Cool J. You know what I mean? Yeah. They can talk about your mama and shit like that. But it was just you had to either lyrically beat me or shut the fuck up. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Literally, yeah, with the hands, yeah. or shut the fuck up too, right? Exactly. Yeah. So you know, now it's just that state thing, which it's a harsh, it's a harsh subject to talk on. But like that shit gotta be, it gotta be, this gotta be a continuous conversation mm-hmm. on like, you yeah, know man. what I mean? Like, cannabis, cannabis, stop being murder lies. Ill, Ill, man, what? Look, he said, ill, Ill versus cannabis. Uh, you you murdered NWA. Oh, no, that's and weird. he said some real disrespectful <laughs> stuff in his this yeah. songs. You know what I'm saying? But they was able to, you know, move past it. You know what I mean? Some of them niggas that made them type of tricks like damn, they're sixty years old now. Huh. So you got okay. Go ahead. Since you said move past it, after that, go to the J Cole shit. So yeah, we'll close out. We'll close out with the J Cole joint. So, oh, yeah, yeah, so, okay, yeah, we we about one eighteen. That's, uh, that's a good. That's yeah, good. that's good. So J Cole versus the Kendrick Lamar, right? Don't even dive in it yet. Let it breathe. Go eat the other <laughs> shit. Go the other shit. Go the other shit. <laughs> well, we just had a general conversation. Early, early, early. Early. It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> yeah, now nah, it ain't too early. <laughs> he said Eminem versus everybody. You right about that, Jay? Eminem, hey, pressure. But see, at the same time, like, like, Bro, like he, he, he don't, Ludacris. He don't like, count. He, I, he, don't, Ludacris he, he, he don't count because he can't comfortably walk down nobody hood. That ain't got Ooh. nothing to do with us. He he is an anomaly. I'm not counting Eminem as nothing. When you rap about your mama and blah, no, we ain't doing that. that all that shit for, for me. Eminem is goofy ass culture. shit. All that shit was goofy as shit. I was not riding around in my 84 Cadillac Fleetwood Broham bumping on Eminem. Show the fuck with <laughs> I, work, I worked out to it. Ooh, that but black cheer. Ride around, yeah, around, 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 around bumping Eminem? Like, really? It ain't, in the, it, in the street? it ain't all what you bumping said it, it is. It's, it's, nah. Some of it is... Some of that it shit, is... But all, like, all of it is excellent artistry, though. I don't care yeah, what you. But that shit is that shit is the baby theatrical. Man, Jay Z, I like right street God. shit. I I do. I like street shit. We grew up on street shit. You know what I mean? We really grew up on that street shit. Like if if a nigga was talking that shit, he had to back it up. If a nigga said he had hands, he had to back it up. You can't be rapping about you had hands and then as soon as a nigga showed up with hands, right. you ran. 
you had to stand ten toes down. You ain't no running. You still, man. We want to hear that. And, so and the difference so to see as, you as much as we try to make it like it's a big difference. And I want to say this as much as we try to make the only difference is the level of killing that's happening because a lot of the shit that the old rapper spoke about and stuff like that. They didn't do it like at the present time of that action. Like, you know, a nigga might have laid some down, but don't talk about it for five years. Don't mean it didn't happen. These rappers right now, they just coming like straight out like, nigga, they just did the shit 24 hours ago and go make a track. <laughs> and then they and then they, they they talking about they smoking him and then they talking yeah, about it's a oh, difference. Oh, it's I, a shot him, I shot him in the face. I gave him a fat head. Yeah. No, bro, y'all, y'all not going. Y'all not digging deep enough you, into you, this shit. Go ahead. Y'all not, you go ahead. gotta dig deeper into this shit because this is a whole other element to this shit. Shovel, well, like, like, there's, like, like there's literally a situation that exists that happened where this nigga stood over this boy and shot him in his face nine times. He was 14 years old. Yeah. And they and they, and they called him and they called him. They said, Oh, don't you gonna get a fat head? And it was and it was literally because dude stood over him and shot him in his fucking face nine times. You can't shoot. So this nothing shit is in, not. This shit you, is not nothing like what the fuck we grew up on. No, I don't know no nigga no. that I listened to that rapped about standing over a nigga and shooting him in the face nine fucking times. years old. Nope. He was nope. fourteen. And I ain't grow. I ain't grow up with no nigga that that you have the knowledge of knowing that you. Put a, a motherfucking fourteen year old old down in my family. There is no knowledge of a nigga that just because they rap that shit happened and these niggas live happily ever after. Mm. What world y'all live in? I shot the rapper. Yeah. He dead, and y'all just continue to marinate around the same blocks, thinking that shit sweet and ain't nothing gonna happen. And y'all ain't go about to go to the upper room too. Like the kill going, music, I'm, just to think about the kill music. Or somebody around you is going to the upper room. Yeah, that's, that's the that's, thing. That is how this shit All is this, gonna go. The reason why the kill music is kill music is not because it's kill music. It's because y'all rapping about the kill music and what y'all did and think exactly. it ain't nothing gonna happen when it's a whole exactly. lot of family members, yeah. friends, and all that shit attached exactly. to that person. Exactly. This is the reason why I will say this, and please, and, oh, it's kind of always already been proved. There's no way that Young Dolph was going to sleep, and that was it. I mean, y'all see the aftermath. We talk about juke. We, we, I mean, we can just dive oh, yeah, into some shit. Yeah, no, hell no. We can dive into some shit. He wasn't rapping. Nigga wasn't rapping, but you, you are not allowed to talk shit. After after you after a motherfucker just gone off this earth that somebody gave a fuck about, not like that. Yeah, you not, not allowed. Like period. That. Period. Not, like that. not, music, not in directed at the guys the that music, cared about him, dude. You he directed music, it at the dudes that cared about him, bro. The man, dudes that he fucked with, bro. Like I, I, I glorifying it. Out. Are you for real, bro? Come on, glorifying bro. it to get him gone. On, glorifying, dog. glorifying it to get you gone. Hey, put your glasses back on. You look sleepy. Yeah, man. I always look. I look higher than a motherfucker. I always look higher when I'm sitting. And you know, and you know, it, it's 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 part of that new generation situation too. Because even even in that situation, bro, that was a, that was a very that was a very calculated, but very, but a, but a very maliceful act. You understand what I'm saying? Like they didn't they didn't give a damn. They was gonna get him. It was already up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it's like, so it's like that's what I'm saying. Like, you you gotta understand, right? That there are certain key, there are certain key triggers in, in, in kill music. What's that is up? not in, that is not in hip hop, bro. It's not What's in the up, shit. My boy D in the building, man. Mississippi in the building, man. What up, man? Shout out to Mississippi, man. The man. Mississippi, man. You know what it is. Thing. I ain't mean to, I ain't mean to break it down. I mean break into your uh statement, bro. Go ahead with what you shout out the sip, man. You, you, they in the area, you hear me? Uh, but it's like, but it's like, yeah, it's just it's just what I said. It's the, there's 
it's literally like okay bro if i rap if 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 you listening to if you listening to a nigga rapping about how he killed me that ain't gonna do nothing to you bro i can't do it and, and, and no time like you can be somebody you can be on the deacon board if i heard it and i was a deacon and you was on the deacon board and motherfucker rap about how he killed you hey i'm gonna yeah. have to pray for the ultimate forgiveness you see what I'm saying? Exactly. Because, because, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm wired to say I'll listen to a song about one of my brothers being killed from the nigga that did it and not be and not be on the hunt for that nigga and that not be what my life be about. And y'all rappers, y'all on y'all just gonna be on tour city to city, reminding the motherfucker that you you don't kill. Just on tour, like, Hey, look, bitch, I'm sitting in the city with you till I get you. So I, I understand. That's why. That's why a lot of bullshit happened out of state. If y'all, if we ain't stupid, then y'all ain't stupid. They watching you in your city because they know how y'all get down. So motherfuckers are getting touched out of state. We seen it too many times. Dolph got touched out of state. Try to get touched well, over here. They got touched over there. Yeah. Where, where it stem from, though? Facts. Yeah. yeah. So, so what do y'all think gonna get? Uh, what What do y'all think gonna get back? Uh, gonna get things? Now, I ain't gonna even say back on track. I, like Lee said, this shit been established a long time ago from the environment. The drugs, the guns, the gangs, the yeah, sport of like, hip hop, everything we talked about tonight been happening. Conversation to talk about, not to cut you off, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole different conversation to talk about why they were able to just all of a sudden start investing in that thing and pushing that thing and that yeah. thing, you know, and, and, and that and that thing took off the way it took off. There was already writing behind that. You see what I'm saying? It was it was already established behind that. It was just it was just a, a a manipulation to the times, right? Because shit changes. Like social media really changed a lot of shit, bro. Yeah, it did you know, uh, on a whole different level. The, the ganging and the kids and the music it changed a lot. So you know, you know, we we used to the videos we liked on TV. Yeah, them videos probably cost a million dollars to shoot. Man, these kids are shooting videos that's good enough to go on YouTube and keep your attention. And hey, Lee, let like, me pause you. Let me pause you on this shit right here. And I, I just want to say this right here because, like, it ain't too many people that are gonna say what 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 Deep just said though. Real right. talk, what y'all doing now will change things. Uh, my this how it starts. This how it starts. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that bro. PPP on him. Man, on up. Him. That's the Ken folk. That's the Ken folk, man. Yeah. That boy repping Lila, Mississippi. So oh, we got to bring him on here too one day. For sure. Get ready. I mean, man, we got the the battle of the sexes coming up. What's good, man? If you ain't scared to be out here amongst <laughs> these ladies without getting your feelings hurt yeah. and, and and ending your live and. Uh, Hey, come on! You gotta be, you gotta be ten toes down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this shit alone, man. Hey, you gotta, you gotta have the anchor down. You can't leave the street like Rick Ross. Hey, before we look, look. So I want to go back to what Lisa is. So I think it was established. This is when this when when the when the rap took a, a turn and it turned to this kill shit. And I'm gonna say this because. Um, Right now, we just seeing the, the murders and shit like that, and we focus on that. But the initiation of this shit was when they took rap from when it was the KRS and the educated, the public enemies, and the people that was teaching us the game about how to progress, how to elevate as a culture and stuff like that. And they mm -hmm. twisted to where, like, the narrative, like, okay, we're not going to promote that type of music no more. We're going to, now we switching it to the, ND, the NWA level, to the, you got to be talking about, gangs or shooting or whatever it was when it came to loot the way that we expressed yeah, our culture in a sense hoes bitches this dead they talk about killing each other now mm -hmm. that we know that that's gonna attract people more we like that narrative better than mm -hmm. the narrative of educating them 
because if we if they stay educated, then they gonna they gonna blow us out the fucking water. So now this drill music, we yes. look at it like we looking at it about 2012. A lot of people think about 2012. When I say them numbers, they they thinking about the Chicago thing. You know, that's when a lot of this stuff really popped off. But it really initiated from that when they start making the narrative the narrative be the if you ain't talking about killing, drugging yourself up and destructing your your shit, then you ain't finna get in front of the camera. We ain't finna put you in front of the, the screen. We ain't finna do nothing. We ain't yeah. finna do Yeah, that's yeah, what I agree. That's I what agree. Started, bro. I agree. That's mainstream, exactly mainstream, 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 I agree. 2012. But like the 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 music, like the music, the 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 movement in the music started in 2009 yeah like i yeah because chief key shit was like i didn't looked at so many of them documentaries because i just i'm just so blown away by how nobody wants to really do nothing about what is going on in chicago nobody wants to do nothing about what is going on in memphis nobody wants to do nothing about what is going on in new orleans and baton rouge and Street. little rock little rock you know what i'm saying like Man, little why, rock, why, 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 why don't we want to do nothing about this shit, bro these kids are killing each other every day every day it's the body dropping every day if you don't believe me just look on youtube that's that z yeah. look on instagram <laughs> straight up that's that z shit. That's that's that z shit. i didn't say look at the newspaper i didn't say watch the news nigga. i said look on youtube look on instagram they got the shit before the news and the newspaper got it so i was i was told uh, what what I was asked what the episode was about, I said, look, this this one thing you can do, you can. I told him the title, and I said, you can just go on YouTube and see what Chicago rappers died. Just how many Chicago rappers died just this year, and then just, just this year, back, back, just backtrack every what? year, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty three. Go to, a year, go to a year that's already over. Go yeah. to a year that's already over and see yeah. how many times they made that same video. And you think, and you think it'll be over with, there, but it, it's it's a year for it's it's a that's a whole lot of rappers for every year in one city. Why you in take the template city. down, bro? One. Why we take it down? Oh, the, yeah. the the commercial took it down. That's what happened. Right, mm. Put that bitch back up. That bitch yeah. too hard. There you go. Yeah, they got to see that, man. Shout out to the motherfucker Hogs and the Hoggets, man. Yeah. Hey, y'all like, subscribe, share. Uh, make sure y'all keep in contact with what we got going on. We talking kill music from the hip hop to the graveyard tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? We on rap. We almost on wrap up mode. So if you tapping in late, if you tapping in late, uh, just go back and hit rewind. You yeah, feel? Just, yeah, just just go back. It'll be available yeah, every, every episode. It, it, it'll, I, be available, it'll be available for you to go back and watch about ten minutes yeah. after we go. We off. Yeah, because I gotta ask that too. I said, "Hey, you can watch every episode." Hey, what's the episode? I was on there, and we it's it's on there. It's on it's there. there. It's on there. Go check it out. Make sure y'all look, subscribe. You go too. look at yourself if you was against. Go look at yourself. Yeah. We already did our announcements, which is a good thing. Birthday shots out, which is a good thing. And we basically, man, just offering our time and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have to do this every Friday. This is what y'all you know got to keep in mind. Can we close it out? Can we close it out? Like a positive note from each person. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. Me first. Right? Because okay. I like, I like, I like something I've been learning. And, and I want to incorporate it. So a problem and a solution. Yeah. We 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 have we have identified a problem as the HOG podcast, and we are solving that problem by doing what we're doing. We got different topics. We expound on it in different ways. We bring different people to the show. 
you know we 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 bring different energy to different things <clears throat> the problem that was that was presented when we came up with this topic was what it said the kill music the music is the problem the solution is to challenge you all because this is not a this is not a thing that one podcast is gonna solve or 10 podcasts are gonna solve it don't matter how big the podcast or how small the podcast if you in the community the challenge is to you i'm not saying snitch what i'm saying is that young man that young man with the influence that you can influence influence him influence him to influence others because we 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 got to solve this problem like you solve any other problem we got to solve this problem like you solve a toothache we got to go to the root of it and get it the fuck out of here the the (laughs) toodle hell hell that's why i said man listen if i knew if i knew how to get to the source i would go to the source because because these little niggas follow each other what regardless to what you think it look like somebody is following all of them is following one person they just look the same now so don't nobody know who it is because y'all ain't streetwise but i be looking and i be looking and i be identifying and we just we just gotta get we gotta get to the source man we gotta get to the right people and, and that's all i got bro Go ahead with it, uh, LL Cool J. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, what I got to say is, I gotta be unapologetic with this shit. Shit, shit, shit. shit. <laughs> so, fuck what you talking about. Fuck what you talking about. I know y'all, all y'all motherfuckers, all y'all motherfuckers, all y'all, all y'all. I ain't gonna let's not let's not make y'all look bad. Let's degrade y'all but what we will unapologetically uh degrade is your mentality and the shit how you move first of all if you like me if you grew up you saw the options right you saw the option you i can't make this shit up for you you saw the good option you saw the bad option all right so for you for you for you ones that chose the bad option I did choose a version of the bad option, but 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 got myself out the way. All right. So there is a there is light at the end of the tunnel when you do decide to pick the bad option. But let's bring it back to good versus bad, doing better versus doing better. Y'all see the shit. You can't tell me that there wasn't somebody with your color that wasn't living and doing something in a positive light that looked good was making their money good and you chose to go to the dark side so it's it's, it's the dark side versus the light side you know what i mean it's dark versus the light it's there it's there every day if you watch the hog podcast you get to see the dark versus the light so now now it becomes now this is scripture all right we talking about religion and shit hog podcast is scripture so what preacher you listening to you listening to your og that's telling you to go do the bullshit are you listening to your hog that's what you need to be listening to because your og ain't talking about shit listen to your hog you know what i mean your hustler on the ground. <laughs> hey mom yeah. listen to your hog because yo some of y'all ogs ain't about shit yeah, y'all ogs is putting the stick in y'all head Y'all OGs is making sure y'all catch the charge so they can stay out of jail. Yo, but your HOG, Man. you go get that house. Yo, HOG is making sure your finances is right and your credit is right. Yo, yo, HOG is making sure your media, your marketing, your business shit is boom and it's popping and shit like that. Because, and, and we doing that inside the same fucking environment and coming from the same fucking environment you came from. So it ain't no motherfucking excuse. You know what I mean? You want to be amongst the motherfuckers that live it, that's living and dying at 19, 20, 17, 14, 15. They dying right there. 
or you want to make it to this ripe old age of sipping on this cognac in a very special way. You know what I mean? We sipping on this very special way. We rubbing booty cheeks and just living life and, and, and got the smoker fired up. You want to live like that? Or you want to get the fast shit and go get locked up and watch a nigga snitch on you and get you like it's your mm. toys, motherfucker. And you and, and if you want to go rap around it, you want to go rap about it, you look at extra dumb too. You got options around this motherfucker. We can talk about our favorite rappers that, that was coming, how we liked it because the beat was catchy, because the the the, the hook was catchy and shit like that. Mm. But we got rappers like we got uh what's the name? Rhapsody, you got a common. You got people that's coming how they supposed to be coming, but if you don't respect it, they ain't getting the limelight. They ain't getting the limelight. You a, you a square-ass nigga if you, if you built the house and your kids is going to a private school. You a square-ass nigga. But you, like the song being show got, hey. I'm trying to be a square-ass nigga. Man, for, for real. I'm game, trying to live all you know, great. What I say, Cole, game, game I time. pray to God for 114. The oh, track, yeah. being, the track being show guy, I'm just the last trauma. Say, trauma. Game ties the reason why your son, you can't help your son tie up one for prom. Game ties is the reason why you can't help your son tie his tie up. Because you distracted. You locked up. You in there, you doing real time. So your game ties. Is the reason why you can't help your son tie his tie. Tie his tie. No Thanks. All right. Hey, I'm going to go to her coming and then I'm going to get my last closing and we're going to get up out of here. Um, important personalities like Malcolm X or Martin Luther King are missing nowadays. <laughs> they fought for our rights. The, gen, the generation now is stuck in a circle of materialism, money, yeah. and super what? Superficialities. Superficialities. Okay. Yep. Facts they want to do like this, Lee. They want to spread the money mm-hmm. on their army. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Ain't found yeah. no taxes. Yeah. Ain't got so, no taxes. No. Ain't no way to. But you yeah. know. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, go, go ahead, bro. Nah, go ahead. Yeah, I was just, I was just gonna yeah. say like the, the one thing about it like those personalities are not missing. I got played the support. Order. For those personalities is what's missing good point so going into i just want to close with this i want to say this right here i want to say um let me uh probably jump for won't be forgetting when we go out i want to say this right here uh to all the youth to all the young drill rappers and all the uh uh, premeditated drill rappers, the curious drill rappers, you want to, you know, you focus on what you hear and what you see. Uh, and it makes you create and do these actions and different shit like that. You you going down this road to where you feel like that's cool, so you want to dive into it when you really don't have to do that. So I'm just going to keep it simple and plain. Don't let the hate that's built up in you create ops for yourself. Don't let the hate that you get within you that might be against your own self figure out that first. Figure mm-hmm. out the hate, where it's coming from, and stuff like that, and try mm-hmm. to rechannel that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of this yeah. stuff that y'all creating ops about is basically girls, money, drugs, territory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah. fix the fix the hate within yourself first before you get out here creating ops and trying to make it like you got ops behind some behind some shit that you really got a personal problem with. You know what I'm saying? Some looking in the mirror, letting yourself know that you ain't got to do this certain type of thing to be accepted and shit like that. The gang violence, all this shit, they come with this shit. And that's probably like the simplest way I can say it because I'm a little swayed right now. You know what I'm saying? But y'all already know. Y'all know how to Before you sign, before you sign, don't Mm -hmm. lose your life repping land that you don't own no land on. Facts. Hey, with that being said, y'all know how we do it, man. We go out like we came in. That's pray me, please. Hey, paper me, please. <laughs> and pour me, please. <laughs> hey, mama, until next Friday, man. Y'all catch us next Friday. We added up. What's up?
up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Get what's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Get what's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Get what's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Get I said pray, pray on paper, they no pole. That's a move. I stay pray, pray on paper, they no pole. That's a move. I stay pray, pray on paper, they no pole. That's a move. I stay pray, pray on paper, they no pole. That's a move. You know, Auntie Mama thumbing up. It's H O G. We coming up. They like subscribe and share, and it's about time we run these numbers up. Ain't nobody coming with these topics and the fly hitting. They be trying to duplicate the show. I guess they in they feeling. We don't care. Impact over lights is how we do it here. Come and get some gamers internationally spitting here. Minnesota and the Kansas. We got ties in Germany. Guests from Pakistan and Singapore. They rock with H O G. Like, subscribe, notifications to all.